Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about answering the question, what are vertical angles? You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The first part of the vertical angles definition is to identify that the two angles that are directly across from each other, so we'll say angle X here and angle X here, these two angles are going to be vertical and the other two angles are also vertical, but they're vertical with each other. When solving for vertical angles, the angles that are vertical are congruent. That means that they are equal. So in the case of this example, if this angle right here was 45 degrees, that means that this angle, because it's the vertical angle, also has to be 45 degrees because it's equal. And then if this angle was 135 degrees, that means that this angle also has to be 135 degrees. Let's do a couple practice problems on our vertical angles worksheet. We already know that the vertical angles definition is that the two angles that are crossed from each other and are formed by two lines that cross, they are going to be congruent. In the case of problem number one, we know that 140 degrees is directly across from X. And because that they are directly across from each other, that means that they're vertical. And if this one's 140 degrees, that means that X also has to be 140 degrees. We can do the same thing for angle Y. So we don't know angle Y, but we do know it's vertical with 40 degrees. And because they're vertical, that means that they're exactly the same. So if this is 40, that means that angle Y also has to be 40 degrees. Number two on our vertical angles worksheet gives us two missing angles, X and Y, and also that one angle is 55 degrees and the other angle is 125 degrees. We know that angles directly across from each other are vertical. So if this X is vertical with 125 degrees, we know that X has to be 125 degrees. And if this angle Y, which we do not know, but is vertical with an angle that is 55 degrees, that means that Y also has to be 55 degrees. Hopefully this video helped you answer the question, what are vertical angles? If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.